Here's my 1986 Honda NT50G, which is a Honda Mini Melody, and uh, I've had this about a year now, something like that. I bought it from a local auto jumble, and uh, I had to buy it because I walked past it, and it was so hilarious. It was just small and ridiculous, and I thought, I have to own that. So uh, this is the state it's in now. You can see it's been stripped back. Uh, the back end of it is over here at the moment. The engine and the back wheel and the rear shock all come off in one go, there's one lump, so that's handy. It's about three bolts and a few cables, although the back brake cable was an absolute nightmare to get off. Um, it is, well it wasn't running when I bought it, it took me a while to get it registered because the, uh, although I knew the number plate and I checked it and it was still on their database, the DV Lays database, uh, I couldn't get it registered and get myself a V5 because I couldn't find the frame number. The one I could find was corroded, so I couldn't read the last digit, and they wouldn't accept that. But I did eventually find a, another VIN plate somewhere else on the chassis, uh, and it all worked out, and for 25 quid, I got a V5, which was nice. Now, the problem with it at the moment, well, there's a few problems. Firstly, the engine is hydrolocked, so I can't get it to turn over properly, and when it does turn over, it only does it for a few seconds, uh, a few kicks and then it basically won't turn anymore it feels like I'm going to snap something if I keep going so I've stopped so basically what's caused that is because it runs on straight petrol and there's your oil tank there it mixes its own oil uh, and over time because it's been stood the oil has dripped down inside the crankcase and caused it to hydrolock so it's just a case of basically turning it upside down and uh, spinning it over a few times and it should get rid of it should spit all the oil out hopefully uh, but that's a lot easier to do when it's off the body so that's the main reason for that another problem with this is you'd think being a Honda especially being a variant of the Honda Melody it would be fairly easy to get parts for and some parts you can but some parts that you'd think would be fairly easy, like an exhaust, are absolutely impossible. I've only ever seen one for sale. It's for an NT50 Mini Vision, so I'm not entirely sure it'll fit. And I think it was 90 quid, including postage, which is a bit ridiculous. The one that came on this uh, had a hole in it, basically, so I got a friend of mine from work to weld it for me. Uh, and there was a little bit he couldn't quite reach with the welder so he's put some special putty stuff in there that he's not actually sure is heat resistant so that'll be interesting when we first get it going hopefully it'll stand out uh, stand up okay but other than that if it doesn't it's a case to try and find another one or get a professional welder in to see if he can do a better job unfortunately another problem with it is that the inside the carb well instead of having a normal choke it's got what's known as an enricher which is a bit like a choke plunger inside the carb it does something slightly different that I don't fully understand what the difference is but basically it was stuck and uh, whoever had tried to get it out before me had snapped the uh, bit off it where the cable attaches because it's on a cable thing on the handlebars which is under here so that's your choke there on a cable unfortunately no choke plunger enricher thing on the end of it absolutely impossible to get hold of uh, it's coming to the point where I'm gonna have to try and make my own I think but I don't I've never done any machining before I don't have any tools I need a lathe I imagine so if anyone knows where I can get hold of uh, an enricher for a 1987 Honda Melody Mini that would be amazing <laughs> even if it's the whole carb um, I have thought about changing the carb, but I don't really, I want to keep it as stock as possible. A lot of the other parts of it aren't really tunable, um, and I wouldn't really want to tune it anyway, so really an original carb would be the best way to go, but I can't find one of those either. So I'm pretty stumped really there. There are a couple of little cracks in it as well, there's one there, I think that's the worst one actually. Uh, and I got the... MOT history up on the DVLA website and um, there were only a few problems with it 
on the last MOT, which was in 2010. Needed new tyres, which it still does. Apparently the front wheel rim is slightly dented, but I'm yet to find that. So it may have been changed. The indicators didn't work, but it looks like somebody wired them up wrong at the front, so it'll have shorted. Uh, the headlight wasn't working, but as you can see, but you can't see now because I've took it apart, the actual switch bit there had snapped off, so you couldn't turn them on. So I have found another one of these for 30 quid second hand. Uh, it's just a case of saving up for it basically, or getting around to buying it. Uh, and the other main problem with it was that the chassis was rusted. As you can see, it is a bit rusted. It's not structural, it was only an advisory. But I'd rather get it sorted, rather than have it melt in the rain and knackered. So, that's my job for, day, for today. Much the same as the Tomos. I'm going to paint it with Hammerite once I've cure rusted it. So, I'll show you what that looks like afterwards.